Hello friends, once again welcome to the automation revolution. In this video, we will learn about human machine interface, means HMI. So HMI is used for uh, smaller application uh, monitoring and controlling the system. HMI is also working uh, same like SCADA. HMI can uh, give us uh, monitoring and controlling in real time. HMI in HMI we can design uh, some process in graphics or animation. And and HMI we can configure alarm. In HMI we can uh, uh, we can view uh, view the trend uh, trend for for real time. So this type of uh, facility is also available in HMI. But HMI has uh, less capacity uh, for memory storage and some less features as compared to uh, SCADA. So for small machine or small plant, uh, we can use uh, HMI for controlling and monitoring the process. Start. So first, uh, this is uh, Siemens Symmetric HMI panel. So uh, in market, different types of HMI panel is available uh, as per requirement. So the touch panel uh, HMI is also available, uh, push button type and uh, some HMI is in background, uh, means black and white color available. So this color type HMI also available. So as per requirement, uh, we can take the different size and uh, that uh, configuration we can take from uh, market. Here we have a uh, symmetric HMI panel uh, with TP700 comfort panel. So now in uh, back side of this HMI panel, we will get de detailed information. So you can see here uh, this TP700 comfort is model name and here we are getting MLAB or serial number. And downside, uh, this is the power supply means uh, here we are giving uh, DC 24 volt typically uh, power supply here we are getting this Profibus port for communication uh, for any device which is compatible with this Profibus and uh, this is a USB port for data communication and uh, here we are getting two Profinet port uh, to connect two devices uh, with PLC communication or HMI to HMI communication so from this uh, cable we will connect this PLC and uh, we can make communication between PLC and HMI. Here uh, upper side this is a symmetric SD uh, slot. So he can, we can uh, add this memory card here for memory increasing capacity. And uh, here uh, SD card is available. So if you want to take backup. So we can, we can take backup from this uh, SD card. Here we will make the communication between uh, Siemens SN300 PLC and uh, HMI. So I will explain a brief description about hardware. So this is the power supply uh, DC 24 voltage. Uh, so this power supply is providing uh, the power for this CPU as, as well as uh, input and output module. So this power supply is connected with all three modules. And here this is the CPU. Here uh, we have added here memory card for memory increasing capacity. This LDS, uh, LED are uh, indicating different uh, status like stop mode, run mode, force mode and the system bus, fold bus. So this is for diagnosis and troubleshooting. This switch is for uh, making uh, CPU in stop mode and memory reset. And downside we are getting a uh, communication port that we will see in next picture. These are the input and output module. So you can see here uh, DI8 and the DI16, DO16 input module. And output module are connected with this PLC. Now, uh, in this picture, uh, we can see uh, this part is downside of this PLC. So, here we are getting two Profinet port and one Profibus DP port. For the communication, data communication, we can use this uh, both the uh, port. So, we will now uh, connect this PLC with HMI uh, in the next uh, uh, video. Here is the uh, input module diagram. So this module is a digital input and output both uh, module are available here. So you can see here uh, this left part is for input. So this is the common and this, uh, this is power supply positive and this all are input and uh, the right side this uh, is for common output and power supply and this all are uh, is indicating the output relay coil. So this is how we can connect uh, this input and output with this PLC module. This is uh, ET200M module or we can uh, say extended terminals or distributed I.O. This is very important uh, part of this PLC. So this uh, ET200S or 200M are module for 
distributed I/O. So distributed I/O we are using in uh, remotely location because when input and output are connected with the field area, so we can't uh, take that much uh, complexity with wire uh, with the PLC. So in, in order to avoid that uh, wiring complexity and uh, communication, uh, for that we are using this. Uh, distributed IO so this distributed IO uh, we can establish uh, nearby to that plant and from the single communication cable uh, we can connect PLC and uh, uh, we can interface different input and output so you can here you can see here this all our module uh, input and output module which is connected with uh, one communication block and from this one communication block we can connect uh, or we can communicate with PLC and all uh, input and output uh, which, which are connected with this uh, distributed IO system so this is for a uh, remote location when we need to uh, make communication between PLC and uh, distributed IO system. Now uh, we will uh, see in TI portal how we can configure this HMI. So here you can see uh, I have taken Siemens S7300 PLC and now I will add HMI. So you just click on add new device and here we will get this HMI. From the HMI, uh, you can see there are different uh, panels available. So you can select whatever we have uh, available right now. So we have uh, this Symmetric Comfort panel. Uh, from there, we have 7 inch screen and uh, we have this TP700 Comfort panel. So you can see this is the uh, serial number for this model. Now go for OK. Now uh, we will connect this PLC with this HMI. So we already taken uh, this S7300 PLC. So we'll add. So this uh, communication will be established in uh, TI portal. So this communication type is uh, Ethernet. Now we'll go for next. If you want this header, uh, date and time, logo, so you can uh, enable or disable from this screen. If you want alarm uh, acknowledgement view, pending alarm view. So then you can enable, so you will get in HMI screen. The root screen, if you want root screen, root screen option, so you can enable this one. And go for next. Finally, we'll go. Uh, we'll yeah, get this button. Log on a language that will uh, give navigation here. And then go for finish. So now we uh, have successfully added this. HMI so here you can see uh, this HMI TP700 comfort panel we added in TI portal and here we are getting blank screen now I want uh, I want to uh, to make one animation in this HMI panel I want to start and stop push button from there we will make one output on in PLC so now we will go for this screen the same like in uh, SCADA we are getting here basic object elements control it's all are same with uh, SCADA so you are already I think famous with SCADA now uh, I will take two buttons And uh, I will take one object here. Now I'll assign uh, this tag. So I have already uh, taken this memory bit for set and reset. So when I will press from this PLC, uh, this bit will set. And uh, when I will press the stop button, this bit will be reset. And from this memory bit, we are getting output Q136.0. So same memory bit I will use for uh, this HMI also. So from PLC and HMI, from both the side will uh, get output. So I will assign uh, the same memory bit with this button. So go for event, and here we'll go for click set bit. I will assign the tag from PLC. So I will assign M0.0 for stop, we will make reset bit, now uh, 
for any object we will assign animation so we will go for appearance and here we will give the same bit this background color will change red and here we will give for uh, one green color So this settings we need to make in while we are taking any symbol library the st fill style should be shaded and this foreground color should be uh, by default color 0. Now I will uh, download uh, this screen into HMI. So just click on this button. Now uh, this HMI uh, port will be tracked in uh, this screen. So you can here you can get this IP address of that HMI and I will download. So I will also uh, show you uh, from the HMI screen. Now here I am going for the simulation. So here uh, we have uh, this simulation window. Once I will click on the start button, so you can see here uh, this pump is making on. Now for stop, it will be off. So from uh, HMI, we are getting this input uh, and output. If you want to make another screen, you can make. This is for uh, this button is for runtime exit. Now I will uh, show you from HMI hardware. So now in this HMI panel you can see uh, the animation which we have downloaded from TA portal. So now we will press the start button so that time we will get output and this pump color will be changed from red to green. Now when pressing the start button you can see this pump color is already changed. And here also we are getting uh, the output in Q136.0. Now we will press the stop button. So this pump will be off. And here we are getting out to zero. So this is how we, have, we can uh, make communication between PLC and uh, HMI and we can make a different animation as per requirement. Thank you very much for watching our video.